That's a cool looking plane. Ooh, Power Hoof presents Alluvium. I've always had a knack for seeing what's coming. Oh, yeah. Goes of my line of work, inspecting a dam or a bridge. You're looking for signs of failure years in advance. That's a really boring job. The bridge we were headed to, remote part of West Papua, that could wait 10 years for another experienced engineer. But I don't foresee everything. Hey. Thirsty. <laughs> Who just stands up and says thirsty? I suppose it sounds a little less whiny than just saying I'm thirsty. Can't it's burning fight. well. Good. What about the water? What's this? Fishing rod? Ooh. Oh, it's a spear. Let's take that. Been sleeping on these fan like leaves the past few weeks. I'll take it with me. Yeah, go ahead. Bring your bed with you. This guy has a good voice. There's not much left of the engine, just one steel prop blade hanging on by a bolt. Jeez. I'd need appropriate tools to get it off. I think you might be stuck here, buddy. The trunk of the tree fern is wrapped in brown, hair like fibers. I tear away a handful of the dry threads. Ooh, yeah, let's keep that. No. No. Keep it on you. There we go. The water in the pool is brackish, undrinkable. What I'd realized immediately mean? that blocking the tidal flow upstream was our first priority. Without the dam to isolate the fresh water, we wouldn't have lasted two days. We? Oui. Maybe that would have been better. You, you're not alone. Where's, where's your, uh, where's your crewmates? Okay. I gaze at the wreck of the small plane, remembering the pilot, unconscious, the panic, Donny grabbing the controls, oh, pulling Donny. the up at the last second, an eternity ago. Oh, fresh water up here. Without this outflow drain, the dam could never hold the massive pressure that would build above it. I ensured we built it strong. But rubble and recycled plane wreckage is no substitute for reinforced concrete. Well, that's right. Plus, it makes a convenient drinking fountain. Yep, go have a drink. There you cheers. go. Cheers. Who, who are you cheersing? Hey. Aha, my pizza is here. Not with my bare hands. Really? Where's your inventory? I? No. Space? Enter. Tab. Oh, it's up here. Oh, I see the little tab now. It was kind of hidden. Right. I spear the fish on my second attempt. Second, that's pretty good. This. Yeah. Was that? Hey, you your food. Oh, your fire's gone. Unbelieving, I stare at the ship chugging slowly across the horizon. There's a lump in my throat, as for the first time in weeks, the hope of rescue is rekindled. But they won't see me. The fire. Oh, God, the fire is out. I have to get it lit. They must see me. Okay. I nest the fibers in amongst the dying coals. <laughs> you calm down a bit there. Right, we need a rock. The fruit tempts me. Plump berries, heavy on the branches of the shrub. Okay, but... Them, of course. Grown drunk on them. They had that effect. Load inhibitions. Had us all giggling. All dancing, of you? There's only you on your own. to ease our hunger. Only made it worse. Okay, we're, we need a rock, buddy. Oh, more wood. I'd need appropriate tools. No time for that. What do you mean, no time for that? I, I don't know what else do we want. I blow on the embers, willing the fibers to light. Okay, there's a bit of an ember, I see. enough to get more than a little smoke. I go, go, go. I the spark go. until it catches, 
and soon the fire is roaring again. Good, good. I look up at the eerie harmonic howl. Was that harmonic? One of those strange wild dogs. Strange because he's bright yellow, I guess. You're welcome to that fish, my friend. As long as this boat sees my fire, I should be. The dog is on me in an instant. Oh my word! Rancid breath hot on my face as I struggle to keep its snapping teeth from my throat. I think he likes you. I try to kick the dog off. It moves like a snake, all wire and muscle, and it's on me again in a second. Hmm. What do we have? Give him. I bat at the monster with the branch. In response, the beast leaps forward. Iron jaws close around my throat. Did I die? I shake my head to clear the vision. That wouldn't work. Think. Oh, okay. I was planning it ahead. It's burning well. <laughs> yes, it is. With my free hand, I hold the branch into the fire. Ah, until it catches. okay. I see. I drive the flaming brand into the beast's face. Aww. As it leaps back with a snarl, I hear that terrible howling all around me. Poor I doggy. swing the branch around wildly, kicking at the sand with my heels as I back away from the circling dogs. Poor dogs? Uh, I mean... I sweep the flaming branch around, buying myself an extra second or two. I swing climb up, up the, the tree. tree as the first dog darts yeah. in, snapping at my ankles. Dogs can Safe climb second, though, I'm, I'm I pretty sure. The ship and look up. No, its course is unchanged. My fire now hidden to them by the rocks on the beach below. Yeah, you're screwed, aren't you? No. Where are we, where are we going then, buddy? Don't think so. No. With desperation. I thrust the burning uh, branch into yep. the leaves above me, and they explode into flame. This With is so dangerous. The below me, and the furnace above already blistering the skin on my hands. I watch the ship sail slowly out of sight. I feel my grip weakening, and shut my eyes against the pain. Do I just fall down and die? Through my eyelids, the fire appears as an all-consuming wave of blood. Washing it all away. Then I'm falling. Falling. I land hard. My eyes fly open oh, the only a... agony from my leg. And I look about me in wonder. The hammock I'd fallen from flaps against the bulkhead. My burned hand is bandaged. And my leg had evidently been set before I'd re-broken it just now. Huh. The pain has nothing to do with the tears that well in my eyes. Rescue. Yeah, lucky boy. Gathering my will, I try to stand. Oh, the pain is too much, and I fall back, panting. Can't reach. <laughs> they must have removed my shoe when setting my leg. I pick it up. Your shoe's green. I see where the hammock detached from the interior bulkhead, dumping me on the floor. Mm. Must have been hastily tied. Let's see, what have we got in here? Just a shoe. Let's throw it at the mop. I throw my useless shoe at the mop and succeed in knocking it over. Yee! Leaning over, I grab the mop. I snag the thin rope. Okay, now what? Don't think so. No? Do you not? Alright. I snap the mop handle over my good knee, then, biting one end of the rope against ah, the Ah, okay, I needed I to add them. the broken shaft to my leg. Crude splint complete, I carefully stand. Hey, nice. Ah, oh, you're fine, look at it. I wolf down the food. Um, no, no, no. Soup, Ooh, yummy. Still warm, mackerel, and crusty bread. Hey, that's quite a bounty. There's a bottle of what I take to be painkillers, though I can't read the label. I swallow two with water, no, vodka, from a tin cup, and pocket the rest. The pills leave me drowsy. 
I'll lie down and thank my rescuers later. All right. I mean, maybe that I wasn't to you. Voices outside the door. I can hear shouting behind the door. Another language. Russian, perhaps? Must be Russian. You, you just drank vodka. Silence for a moment. Then the door is shoved open. Ribet, on Borisid. My God. Thank you. Thank you. The pizza. Food belly. I can't huh. believe you found me. I, I'd given up. That can evil. I catch anger in his voice. Blinking away my tears, I see their faces for the first time. Faces red with rage. Do any of you speak English? My question cuts short as I'm shoved back onto my bad leg. Shouldn't have eaten that food. It was for someone else, I guess. Please, I don't understand. Shocked, I stare at the gun shaking in the man's hand. Uh... No. I grab the broken shaft of wood. I swipe at the pistol, knocking it clear. Frozen for a moment, we all eye the gun. No good. No. We don't, we don't, we don't need the stick anymore. I take another swing at the crewman. And they swarm me. One grabs the gun, thumbs back the hammer. Then, I shake my head to clear the vision. Something else. There we go, now the stick isn't in my hand. I dive for the gun, beating the crewman to it by a split second. Fire at the man, and he staggers back. And they swarm me. One grabs the gun, thumbs back the hammer. Then I open my eyes, banishing the vision. Okay, no, I was gonna say shooting them that. probably isn't a good idea. No. Don't think so. No. Hmm. Oh, shoot the pipe. Woo! Fire at the pipe. It ruptures, spewing a jet of hot exhaust. Coughing, the crewman jump backwards. I stand, feeling the bones grinding in my leg. Ugh, ugh. Dulled by the strong painkillers. Sealed. Sealed. Can you go through? No, I guess not. We're just stuck here? Shoot out the window and clear the remaining shards with the butt of the pistol. Okay, smart, then, smart choice. Head spinning from the cocktail of pills and carbon monoxide, I plunge into the water. Oh, good lord, that's not a good idea. I hear their screams in my head. The Why wet they do that? of blade biting into flesh. The snapping of bone. I see the red wave again. Washing it all away. I open my eyes. Have you lost your legs? No, not back here. My god. The passage is open. Oh, no, you haven't lost your legs. Okay, I don't know what that was about a blade. Come on. Don't be so apprehensive. Let's get going. Had they gone through? Is that why they attacked me? Oh, God. They must have... What? They must have seen the old campsite. Please. No. I was free. Free of what? The blood. The bodies. The madness I left behind there. I can't go back. Y you're gonna have to, buddy. I, you're making it all sound very vague. But I must. The crew of that boat. I have to stop them. I crawl through the fuselage and out the severed tail of the aircraft. Ugh. What happened?
Those sounds I shut out. They echo in my skull again. And and then what? Screaming, laughing, cutting. Uh. A man walks towards me. By his shirt, I see it's the ship's captain. Okay. Wait! Stop! No! You can't be here! Looks like you he is. monster. You killed them. I can explain. The berries! Oh my they word. Shut up. I should kill you now. No. I... Please go. Before it's too... The thing lands on him, knocking him into the muck. There's a sickening crunch as the rock in its hands comes down on his head. Uh... She looks up, smiling. <laughs> Ian, you came back. Anna, oh God, Anna, stop. No, 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 no. Can't let it rot like the rest. Come, have some. There's plenty. <laughs> I turn and vomit noisily, shutting my eyes against the sight. This I is a journey. I left them when they'd started on the pilot. I mean, he was dead already. But still, I'd had to leave. I couldn't watch them as they... Okay, God, well... I should have done something. At least now I know what the oh, us he was Ian, talking about Ian. is. Ian, I always liked you, Ian. Come, sit with me. I have to end this. Somehow. Uh, body parts. Anna. Bonfire. Approaching, I gag on the oily smoke that bleeds out of the bonfire. Searching desperately for something I can use, I lift aside a lifeless arm. To my dismay, it comes away from the body. Uh. I notice the pilot's helmet wedged under the tail of our plane. I try... Okay but fail to free it with my bare hands. Hmm. Let's see, do I still have the gun? Maybe I should just shoot her. I won't touch the vile fruit. Yeah, good. I think we're just gonna have to shoot Anna. I take aim and pull the trigger. Nothing but a wet click. The gun is empty. <laughs> you want these? Pulling something from the jacket of the captain, she holds it up. What? A packet of rounds. What? Laughing, she tosses them behind her. Come and get them. <laughs> she returns her attention to the body, and I notice the watertight packet float down to the dam. Okay. Well, she can have... No. No? She can't have it? No. No? No. No? No. No? Don't think so. Do you not? No good. Really? Okay. Uh... Anna, please stop! <laughs> oh, Ian, why should I stop? I feel great. I mean... Basically, just because of social conduct? There's no other real reason, but come on now. Come back, Ian. There's nowhere to go. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's a dog. The dog either hasn't seen me, or it's ignoring me. It's probably either fed way, up with you. I don't want to get too close. No. Well, let's give him this, uh... I throw the horrid meat to the dog. It sniffs it, then gulps it down. Okay, he's still there though. It's cold. Dead. I won't touch them again. Not taking my chances with that feral thing. It doesn't seem so feral right now. I search for another loose piece of... flesh. Something to distract those dogs. I'm half relieved to find no more loose parts. What? So I just gave him the food for no reason? I search for another loose piece of... 
No, so I just gave it to the dog, and he's 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 taking it all. I searched for another. I'm half relieved. What? Oh! Really? To my dismay, I hear her howl echoed by two wild oh, dogs. Oh, okay. They run up to her, and she tosses them some strips of flesh. Here okay. you go. <laughs> Aren't they wonderful? I mean, they're okay. <laughs> go. There's plenty for you here, you. Come back. I throw some painkillers at the mongrel. The dog ignores them. I should put painkillers in the, uh, in the flesh, shouldn't I? But I can't get any more flesh. Cleaver. It was hiding. It's too pixely. <laughs> I take what seems to be a fragment of propeller sharpened into a cleaver. This is gonna be if fun. If I'm going to distract that dog, I'll need to... Oh, God, help me. It'll be fine. I God close my mind. eyes and hack off a chunk of meat. Mm. That's it. That's it. <laughs> okay, lovely. I crush some painkillers and brush it into the meat. Mm. Painkiller meat. Not take... I throw the horrid meat to the dog. It sniffs it, then gulps it down. Come on. <laughs> I gaze at the dam we built in the narrow gorge. It may be ugly, but we were proud of the work that went into it. That sense of accomplishment was well earned, if short-lived. Oh, right. I check the rope that binds some key supports. It's secure. Short of being cut, it won't come loose. Okay, then, Cleaver. Against my better judgment, I sever the rope. The dam shifts slightly, and I hold my breath. Uh, you should it probably settles, move. And after a quick survey, I'm confident it'll hold. Providing there's no further stress. Okay, what am I doing with this rope? I'd need appropriate tools to get it off. How about... A cleaver? No. 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 Okay. I try to lever out the helmet. It's slick with blood and gore. I need something better to get good leverage. Uh... A cleaver? I try to lever out the helmet. It's slick with... Hmm. So... Definitely can't do anything with these fruit. Ah! Prizing open cold oh, fingers. Finally found it. I take the wrench. Okay. I unbolt the remaining prop, a long, flat bit of hollow steel. Okay. And then we go get the helmet. I mean, I hope this I works. I wedge the propeller in under the helmet and push down hard, bending the prop badly in the process. The helmet comes free. Yay! And I'm greeted by the remains of the pilot's head, grinning up at me from inside. I, uh... Right, see you. Ooh, I got a skull. I secure the rope to the helmet's chin strap. This could serve as a bucket if I had a well. Yeah, you don't have a well, but what you do have is a dam with ammo on the other side. I fling the rope up to the top of the wall. Won't catch. Need some sort of hook. Okay. I tie on the bent propeller, making a serviceable grappling hook. Okay. The hook catches near the top of the dam. I struggle up, blood now soaking the bandage of my burnt hand. Jeez, you're not having a good time, are you? Hey, look at me, I'm in the foreground. I secure the rope to the helmet's chin strap. Yeah, let's hope no one sees you. 
I throw the helmet in behind the floating packet and start dragging it back towards me. I'm bringing the bucket up uh, when I see Anna whirl around. This is risky. I see what you're doing up there. She leaps cat-like up the embankment and I ah! fall backward in surprise. Splish. Her nails sink into my leg like talons. Oh my word. Come back here. Uh, did I not? I didn't get the bloody bullets. Have a head. No. Try again. Have a head. I struggle against her claw-like grip. The dam shudders beneath us, uh -oh. and she laughs, digging her nails in deeper. Anna, careful. No? Cleaver? I kick out at her. <laughs> I kick at her face again. Connecting with a crunch. Ooh. She drops me and I fall. God. My head strikes a rock and I'm out. I come to only briefly. I see her standing over me with the cleaver. Well, you're I dinner now. I all in an instant. That wouldn't work. Think. No. I struggle more feebly this time. <laughs> Uh, well, at least she's having fun. Come on now. I jam the hideous object deep into the drain. Ah, there we Almost go. Almost immediately, I sense the pressure building behind. A terrible, surging power pushing inexorably on the wall. Like a bottle of champagne. She pulls me upward, and I feel her hands close about my throat. The wall falls silent for a moment. Then bursts. Yeah. A red wave. Washing it all away. Where, where are the bullets? That's that's what we want. I, I didn't get the, the bullets? I didn't get to the bullets. Hmm. Good work, guys. Nice. I liked it.